Hi, Whole Life Challenge participants. My name is Danny Clark, and I'm the Curriculum Director for MoveNet. Now, MoveNet stands for Natural Movement, and we're a company that's dedicated to educating people about natural movement. Now, there's a, a wide array of awesome things that happen when you start moving naturally. We believe that things like strength, mobility, even power and speed are qualities that are, that are innate to human beings as a species. Now, I know for, this, for your whole life challenge, you are, your task is to be able to do 10 minutes of mobility work each day. Now, MoveNet has a bunch of movements that are what we call ground movements that are really well suited for this. And the interesting thing is you're gonna get more flexible, but you're also gonna get more stable, you're gonna build more awareness of your body and your external environment. But you'll also be getting that mobility work that you're looking to achieve. So we're gonna to start today with some Lying, some basic reaching, which you'll feel probably a nice stretch sensation in, just gaining some more body awareness, and then some side rolling. And then with each, next, uh, each subsequent video, we'll build some more um, natural movement skills so that you can start to piece together a whole practice. Without further ado, I'm going to start on my back, and you're going to start on your back. And I'll just talk you through each um, movement and what we're looking to achieve in each sequence. Um, and so you can either listen to this and practice, or you can follow along. So when I'm lying on my back, um, I want to think about good positioning here. So a lot of times, because we're so wound up from being in chairs and not moving very much, the back's going to be arched, okay? Um, the chin is going to be up, the shoulders are going to be rolled forward. So let's just try to get into a good position right here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make my mid-back meet the ground here. Okay, there might be a little bit of a hollow right where your lower back is, so we're not trying to smash our whole back to the ground. But uh, at least right below our shoulder blades, right at the bottom of our rib cage is going to meet the ground. Okay, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my shoulders down and try to get my, the backs of my shoulders to lightly touch the ground. Okay, you might feel a little bit already of a stretch sensation through your chest. Okay, and from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck my chin just a little bit to create length in my neck and just extend my arms. Okay, now if this is causing a lot of tension in your body, just being here, just relax a little bit and just know that the more you move naturally, all these different movements are gonna help you find more ease in this position. The other thing we're gonna focus on right away is our breathing. Okay, so I wanna make sure I'm not breathing up into my chest, allowing my shoulders to rise. I'm going to breathe abdominally. And abdominally isn't just pushing my stomach out, it's right in this area where my stomach meets my ribs, I'm just going to make sure this area, through all four corners, my ribs, my spine, and the front of my solar plexus area is expanding. So I can put my hand right there. Four second inhales, four second exhales. So you can leave your hands on that in this position here and make sure it's not all coming up to your top hand. Or you could just take a couple breaths with your arms extended, whatever helps you um, tune in the most. Okay, and once you've taken, let's say, four or five breaths here, all I'm going to have you do is just sweep your arms up over your head. And right away, you might start to feel uh, your upper or to mid-back lose contact with the ground, okay, forcing you into this arch. So we don't want to do that. So we want to keep a little bit of abdominal tension to keep that mid-back against the ground. Keep my elbows straight, and ideally, the back of the wrists are going to meet the ground. And I should be able to breathe here as well. Now, they might not right now, and that's okay. So just find the furthest position you can get to where you're not starting to uh, breathe or stop breathing or starting to tense too much in your, in your whole body. And just breathe here for a second, wherever that point may be. And you may find by raising the shoulders up towards your ears a little bit, it'll give you some more space, and that's totally fine. Spinning the pinkies away from each other, again, will create some more space. And pretend like you're actually reaching for something overhead. And just being aware of your spine and your chin, making sure it doesn't start to jut too high up. Okay, from here, I'm gonna practice the skill of side rolling. So um, this is a natural movement, because what I'm trying to do is just roll onto my stomach. Okay, you might, uh, hopefully you'll feel a little bit of a stretch sensation as well. So what I'm going to do uh, is tune into my external environment by looking over my shoulder up at the horizon. 
Okay, and from here I'm going to start to lift my shoulder up and off the ground. I'm going to lead with my shoulder. I'm going to try to keep my hips on the ground as long as possible. Continue to look at the horizon. I'm just going to keep reaching until I flop over. Okay, now in this position I'm going to create some length in my body. Same thing, I'm going to keep my eye on the horizon, look in the direction I'm going, and the horizon so it's up and over my shoulder. Let the shoulder lead the way all the way until you're back on your back. Okay, reset your position, then do the same thing. Okay, so again, I'm looking up and over my shoulder. I'm letting my vision guide my movements. I keep my hips on the ground as long as possible until I'm back on my stomach. And then I work my way back. So, lying, breathing, and side rolling is going to be your practice today. All said and done should take you probably only about maybe two or three minutes today, but we'll be adding layers of this um, over time to build a whole movement practice. A couple more tips. Uh, don't overdo the side rolling for your first time. As you get used to stimulating your vestibular system, sometimes you can get a little bit dizzy, so we don't want to overdo that in your first time. Likewise, tune in to any um, discomforts you may have. If you tend to have some um, lower back issues, Make sure that the stretch or the, rotate, the rotational stretch isn't going directly to your lower back. So if you feel it in a certain area, try to distribute that stretch over your entire body so it's your whole spine articulating. If you still feel some discomfort, make sure you have enough tension in your abdomen and just find a variation of the movement that's going to work for you. Over time, hopefully, um, you'll do other natural movements. Um, you'll be able to restabilize your spine and you won't feel that sensation. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.